It's Trash Tuesday. Let's talk about some trash. Funko is always trying to come up with new ways to make a little extra dough. This time they came up with four Funko Pops that are absolute trash. The Valentine's Day Star Wars figures. These are just the worst. There's only one good thing about these Funko Pops. If you have a significant other that likes Star Wars, this is the perfect Valentine's Day gift for them. Chris, if you buy me something like that on Valentine's Day. Oh, hell no. Those are hideous. They are hideous. What do you do with them for the rest of the year? Same thing you do with the snowman, Captain America's. You throw them in the f***ing trash where they belong. Like Christmas pops could be put up for the Christmas holiday, but Valentine's Day Funko Pop? Who's putting up Valentine's Day decorations? A lot of people. Why? I don't know. That is so stupid. I've never heard of anything so stupid. Outside of buying these Funko Pops for your significant other for the one day out of the entire friggin' year, there is nothing good about these Funko Pops. If you have people out there who collect Star Wars Funko Pops, I'm pointing at who Whoever you are that collects all Star Wars Funko Pops, I would suggest you don't need them. Why would you need them to finish your Star Wars collection? To put up for Valentine's Day, Chris. If you ever put up Valentine's decorations, I'm taking them down and I'm going to drop kick them. I can't wait to put up my Valentine's Day wreath. You said it wrong. It's Valentine's Day. Saying Valentine's Day, that is like a barometer for stupidity. I feel like you know if somebody's dumb if they say Valentine's Day. A barometer? Yeah, go ahead and Google it and see how stupid you look. Barometer, an instrument measuring atmospheric pressure used especially in forecasting the weather and determining altitude. Something which reflects changes in circumstances or opinions. Furniture is a barometer of changing tastes. You must also say Valentine's. Stupid. If Funko is now making Valentine's Day Funko Pops, what do you think is next? They'll move on to National Cats Day, where they will turn uh, Darth Vader into a Sphinx cat, and they'll turn Chewbacca into one of those Maine Coons, and then they're gonna move on to Easter, where they're gonna turn the Stormtroopers into bunny rabbits, and they're gonna turn Baby Yoda into an egg, because he's smaller than regular Yoda and- His head's some... gonna be popping out of the egg? No, he's just gonna be an egg. <laughs> he's just gonna be an egg? Yeah, but they're like gonna put can't baby see him? Yoda on it, yeah. But you can't see him, it's just an egg. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, the four Valentine's Day Star Wars Funko Pops are the bottom of the barrel for Funko. Yeah. This is the lowest they've ever gone. I hope they don't go any lower than this, but they probably will. But this is enough. Make these four Funko Pops and be done with it. What's interesting is that they didn't really change any of these Funko Pops. No, they're all holding the same stupid f***ing heart-shaped box. Why not give somebody like roses or, or just something different or a teddy bear? Why, why not that? Why make them all exactly the same pink and holding the stupid heart? This is so stupid. I've never been so disgusted. They took an iconic villain and turned him pink. Trash! Guys, what do you think about the Star Wars Valentine's Day Funko Pops? And you can't say anything other than they're trash. If you like it, don't comment on this video. What line do you think they're gonna come up with next? Because you know they're gonna make more Valentine's Day Funko Pops. Let us know all of that and more in the comment section down below. Are you looking for an awesome collector's group? Head over to Facebook right now and join Gasocast. We hunt together. It's a great group full of great people hunting together. So head over to Facebook now and join today. All right, guys, that time again. Remember, as always, we hunt together. Yes, we'll catch you next time. Bye.